to walk or not to walk? That is the question. I want to address in this video the question of whether walking is a legitimate workout or not. I had someone bring that up to me this week, uh, asking about it being a source of training for legs. Uh, and walking, like anything else, can be great uh, and it can be a waste of time. It just all depends on what your goals are. So, from the standpoint of walking, just going out, going for a walk, and why it's good. The benefits of walking are that it's a light form of cardio that is not gonna stress out your body. It's good for helping to reset your hormones. Uh, it's a good way to keep light physical activity up, a little bit of cardio just to help you stay uh, moving, stay active, keep your heart pumping. Uh, it's great for people that are just getting into working out. It's great for people that are uh, obese and maybe not used to working out a lot where even walking can be taxing uh, and it's great for just getting out getting air breathing moving uh, clearing your head there's a lot of good that can come from walking and depending on how long you walk you can burn a lot of calories um, it's also good if you are trying to burn fat but you're trying to maintain muscle and it really only uh, is important when you are doing something like a fitness competition where you're trying to burn as much fat as possible but you are really trying hard to maintain muscle but your body is in this really precarious balance where it's easy to lose muscle. Slow walking or kind of moderate pace walking where your heart rate is still up but it's in a lower range, uh, that can be a good way if you're gonna walk for an hour or two hours to burn fat without hindering uh, your muscle, without losing muscle at the same time. Aside from that, uh, I would say walking is not the best form of exercise. It's great for kind of just staying active, but I wouldn't necessarily call it a great form of cardio or of exercise. Again, unless maybe you're obese or morbidly obese and it's just like that alone may be a big effort. It can also be great if you're just not used to working out, you don't like working out and it's one step to get you closer and you enjoy it, great, go for it. If you're looking for optimal fat burning, optimal aerobic capacity, walking is not gonna do you much good. If you're looking to strengthen and tone your legs, walking is not gonna do you much good. If you happen to walk uphill the whole time, like up a really big hill, that could uh, help a little bit with some of the leg toning and boost your heart rate up a little bit more. So what I would say if you are gonna walk is to do it uphill uh, and at a very fast pace. If you can get your heart rate up to 130, 140 just by walking, that's great. The heart rate is a big part of it. Um, and you can use, this is a heart rate monitor watch, it's a polar. I use that and I found that if I walk at a high incline fairly quickly, uh, I will burn a lot more calories than if I walk really fast but on a flat surface. Or if you're on a treadmill, if you grab the handles and walk really fast uphill, you're not gonna burn that many calories either. So you really need to be putting in a lot of effort. It should be at the point where you uh, can just barely hold a conversation. Uh, it should be hard, you should be breathing heavy. Uh, if you're looking to strengthen and tone your legs, by far, I would say nix the walking. Maybe you do a quick five minute walk to warm up and to cool down. Maybe you go outside, do a walk for five minutes, and then do some lunges back and forth across your street, across your apartment, uh, out in front of your house, wherever you happen to live. Do some lunges, do squats. Even better, add weight to those. So add some dumbbells, add a kettlebell, add something heavy because resistance training and using weights is what's gonna help build muscle in your legs. Uh, if, if you're just starting out, again, body weight is great. That enough will give you a boost and help get you started and get you used to the patterns, used to doing the movements correctly. Then you can add weight later. Uh, if you are looking to burn fat um, or really build your aerobic capacity, then what I would suggest is something like HIIT training, H-I-I-T, that's high intensity interval training. That would be something more like, say you're on a track or you're on a treadmill, 
Maybe you walk at a fast pace for 30 seconds and then you sprint for about 30 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds. Then you walk again at a fast pace. You, you let your heart rate drop down, but not too low, only long enough to recover. And then you go back again to a sprint. Going back between a walk and a sprint for about 20 minutes is a great way to work out. But you have to, in those high intervals, you have to be working out at almost max capacity. You have to be pushing yourself really hard. Then when you rest, you're just letting your heart rate come back down to help burn some fat. And then when you sprint again, it helps boost that aerobic capacity. It helps really burn calories. And it's a great way to get in a good workout that's also gonna use more muscle because when you're sprinting, you recruit more of your muscle fibers and then you can relax. And then you can be done with your workout in like 20 minutes. That's usually how I do cardio or instruct others to, depending on the level of fitness and what your fitness goals are. Some people are not ready for that. It may not be safe. Uh, so you need to build your way up to that. So walking can be a great starting point, but from there you should then be increasing to elliptical trainers or to jogging or to stair machines or something that's gonna challenge you more. And then from there, maybe try the high intensity interval. You can also try a more moderate, just basic interval training, where again, maybe you walk and then you jog and then you walk and then you jog, uh, or you walk and you do squat jumps and then you walk and squat jumps or you walk and lunges where you're getting, uh, your heart rate stays up, uh, and you get a little time to recover, but it's a lot more intense than walking. So rather than spend an hour of your day walking and barely getting your heart rate up and just burning a few calories, you could go out, do a really high intensity workout for 20 minutes and call it a day. Uh, and you'll still be burning fat, you'll be helping to build muscle, and you'll see much better both metabolic uh, response you'll burn more calories after because your body was working so hard that it uses more calories afterwards to recover from that and you can just save a lot more time and you'll begin to see a little bit more of the muscles in your legs uh, there are a variety of ways to do this and to do cardio but that's just kind of the bare basics just saying if you're walking to lose fat uh, or to really boost your fitness probably not the best option. If you're using it to just get into fitness or uh, to lose weight and you've never been working out before, great. If you're someone who's skinny and you just wanna build muscle, it's not gonna do a lot for you. Uh, so again, there are a variety of things that it is good for and it's great to just get out and take a walk, especially on an active rest day if you're in the gym or using weights in between. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I would say save your time, work a lot harder for a much shorter period of time, uh, and you'll, you'll probably feel better and you'll see much better results, and you'll save a lot of time so you can use that to do other things and enjoy life. Uh, so I hope that helps. If you have more specific questions about this, leave them below, um, or you can email me at renewalfitcoach at gmail.com. Good luck with your workouts.